great performance. Thank you. I mean, how did it feel to be like on this movie that's, you know, every movie is such a big thing, but this one just means so much more. Like, what was the weight of that on, on you as an actress? To me, this has always been more than a movie because I didn't know this story. I didn't, like, I understood some parts of it intellectually. I'd heard the name Nat Turner bandied around, but I didn't know what actually happened and just the sacrifice and how great this man was. I didn't know. So, so yes, there was a tremendous weight on my shoulders to, to, to bring honor to it, to do it justice. You know, and when I think about Cherry, like this living, breathing woman who existed during this time, I, like, she, like those are our ancestors. Like their blood runs through our veins. Like that is, that is who we are in our very nature and to understand that that who we are in our nature are people who are resilient and resistant. Yeah. Yeah. And we were able to rise above and defy what we were being taught to believe about ourselves. Yeah. Like like so so when I first got to Savannah, Georgia, I didn't know if I could fully embody it. I was, I was terrified at that notion because, because it was scary and it was overwhelming and, and it, it, it planted in me a, a deep, deep sadness for the truth of our history. But knowing how they stood up and fought gave me a sense of pride that I hadn't experienced before when it comes to that period of time. So, so all of a sudden there was this overwhelming feeling in me that I had to show her strength. And, and this is, this isn't strength without fear, because of course the circumstances around her were extremely fearful at all times. But this is this is strength in the face of fear. Yeah. And then she was allowed to be vulnerable and and fall in love and have a family, and we got to see the full spectrum of her humanity. So to breathe life into that, to to be able to do that. To, to say like, yes, we are suffering, but we will also find joy and light because we are human beings, and that is what we do. Like, that is a powerful message. And do you think this would serve as an educational tool? Because I'm not sure if you know, like McGraw-Hill published some books in Texas that called Slaves, Workers, and Immigrants. Oh my God. Um, do you think like movies like this and TV shows like Underground and New Roots would kind of like supplement for what the kids are missing in the textbooks these days. Yes, yes, because we can never do our ancestors the dishonor of denying their stories. And the fact that someone would refer to a slave as a worker, that is, that is denying that slave's truth. And their truth was they had to toil and they had to fight. And we cannot deny that when we will not be denied. And the notion that future generations might not know that is terrifying because that is when it can happen again. That is when it can repeat. Right. And, and last question, um, at the root of Hark and Nat's rebelli rebellious uh, actions was the love for you and, and Esther. Do you think that, which, which emotion do you think is greater, uh, love or fear, as far as from making you move? I think love is greater and the fact that I, I think love is something that we learn. We learn love. And when you have something to live for, that's when you have something to fight for and something to die for. Yeah. Well, thank yeah. you. Great performance. Love thank to see you. you on screen and TV. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it.